Coal will eventually be phased out here, and the need for clean, safe, reliable nuclear power is definitely the vision in New Brunswick. Hi, you're watching Global Energy Show's 5x5 series. I'm Rachel Gregory. Joining us today is Michael England, Chief Operating Officer with Moltex Energy. Michael, thank you for chatting with us today. Pleasure. Thanks for having me. Michael, who is Moltex? What is it that you do? Moltex is a young, energetic company that's trying to save the world. Currently, Moltex is looking in the nuclear sector to progress three unique technologies, SSRW, the Watts Project, and Grid Reserve. Really, their molten salt reactor, the companion facility that looks to change the paradigm as far as the safety and economics around nuclear power into the future. The molten salt reactor, the SSRW, uses the outputs of the Watts process to power its reactive uh, processes, and really the Watts uses old nuclear radioactive waste to fuel the SSRW. Grid Reserve, an interesting technology that we're working on, essentially is using thermal energy stored from the SSRW to match supply and demand on the grid. So whenever the grid needs supply, we tap into the grid reserve capabilities of SSRW and power the grid. Where does Moltex fit within the energy transition as Canada works to reach net zero 2050? Clear energy is critical to meeting net zero. I think the opportunity that Canada has in front of it here is massive with the small modular reactors, including our own. Really, what we're looking at here is providing a stable baseload resource for Canada. Moltex is in stream two in Canada's SMR roadmap. Really, what that means is, you know, Ontario is going first and, and stream two is the second stream. And we're looking at coming online in the 20. 30s. If we look at all of the radioactive waste across Canada, that's, that's several, if not many, SSRW reactors that could potentially power Canada in the future to meet its net zero obligations and goals. Global Energy Show believes all sources of energy need to work together to decarbonize and meet global energy demands. What are your thoughts on this collaboration? And in your opinion, what do companies need to do to get ready for this? The future of our world here is definitely going to be balanced as far as its energy production. All of these resources can work together. And certainly we believe that nuclear has a place in that future, as well as the SMR design. What we can look forward to seeing is a deeper rollout of renewables. Those are intermittent power sources, and they are obviously backstopped currently by hydrocarbons, natural gas is an example, batteries and future quick resources to, to implement on the grid to backstop an intermittent supply is what the future also requires. And that's where Moltex comes in as far as a base load and also offering the grid reserve capability. Peaking nuclear, renewables, a 100% grid is the future. And what can companies do to prepare? Well, they need to innovate. They need to start thinking about economics, particularly in the, in the nuclear industry, being safe, but doing things simpler. In your opinion, Michael, what do you think Canada's energy mix will look like in 2030? And how would it compare to the global market? That's an interesting question. I think that you probably pick 2030, you know, strategically because we all know that the next decade in front of us is, is really important to all of our, our future. Over the next decade, you probably will see a greater deployment of solar, wind, energy efficiency and smart grids, absolutely. Electrification of our economy is really our goal, and particularly SMRs have a really strong mix in that supply mix. You won't really see them uh, deployed until the 2030s. It does take time to deploy them. Compared to the world, Canada is definitely leading. 80% of our electricity does come from clean sources, including nuclear. Aggressively, Moltex and Canada are leading the world in the nuclear small modular reactor field. Canada's Strategic Innovation Fund, Moltex received $50.5 million to build the world's first 300 megawatt stable salt reactor waste burner and waste to stable salt facility in New Brunswick. Can you tell us more about this project and how it would impact the electricity grid in the 2030s? Our goal here is to do most of the development work in the New Brunswick area. The world will obviously have to descend on New Brunswick to build these reactors as well as design them. Obviously, this represents a giant uh, you know, stimulus for the province as far as jobs and, and GDP, as well as future sales and export opportunities. To your second point in the question, the 300 megawatt reactor represents approximately 15% of New Brunswick 
Brunswick's future electricity needs. The current nuclear station that's operating here, the Point Lepro nuclear generating station, will retire in the 2040s. Coal will eventually be phased out here, and the need for clean, safe, reliable nuclear power is definitely the vision in New Brunswick. Thank you so much, Michael. It was so great chatting with you today. Thank you very much for the opportunity to speak with you today. And thank you for watching another episode of Global Energy Show's 5x5 series. Please like this video, share it to your networks and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all of our new releases. We'll see you next week.